one of the most contentious issues in any workshop is the removal of waste from all the machinery. Um, to this end I've got a shop back with a four inch hose which at the moment I move from machine to machine which is uh, inconvenient to say the least. So I decided to uh, knock up a quick system um, which I could plumb in directly to all the machinery I have in the workshop hence uh, saving a little bit of time, a little bit of hassle uh, and obviously not having to have big 4 inch pipes trailing everywhere across the workshop floor. The extraction system is normally an expensive bit of kit to actually put in the workshop and me being frugal for it, decided uh, I'd see what I could do with whatever else was laying around in the workshop. And I think that's a bit. Um, the blast gates were all made from offcuts of uh, various really. I'd got some MDF and I've got some chipboard uh, and a little bit of plywood. These are all hangovers from previous jobs I'd done uh, and were just basically lying around um, waiting to be used. And I thought this was the perfect time uh, to get to use those bits of wood and also uh, get them out of the workshop stop them fluttering that place up. Most of the other fittings that uh, have been used in this system are basic simple plumbing parts. Um, all the smaller stuff is push fit so it's easily disassembly, uh, disassembled if necessary and the 4 inch stuff is basically for use on uh, um, bathroom extractor fans, kitchen extractor fans etc. Um, the hose is also a, an extractor hose from a, a kitchen stroke bathroom and I did have to purchase some of these bits but really they're thin plastic and they are cheap as chips so uh, apart from actually purchasing the SIP 4 inch shop vac uh, which I think was £100 or so from good old screw fix. Uh, the rest of the equipment, the plast uh, plastic wires, came to about 10 quid. And as I say, the, the timber used is all off cuts. So probably for less than uh, less than 100, 120 pounds, uh, I've got actually quite a usable extraction system for the workshop and all the machinery. Because I've got machinery that's got uh, various different sizes of extraction ports attached to it, 
uh, trying to buy blast gates which made those transitions um, work properly was virtually impossible. They were all four inch or two inch or three inch or one inch um, gates. Uh, what I required uh, on occasions, on two occasions, is to go from the four inch down to an inch and a half adapter uh, and also a two inch adapter. So making these units myself gave me um, the assistance I required to make these transitions without having to buy um, reducers and expanders etc for each of the parts. The actual gates and the, uh, the closers for the blast gates are all made from a bit of 6mm ply which I had lying around from a door panelling job. Um, the bits of chipboard and bits of MDF, well I don't know where they come from, MDF and chipboard just seems to turn up. I very rarely use it, uh, but I all seem to have lots of offcuts of it. I think it's trying to get me. Bit of extra security for the slider rails uh, is the use of a, uh, a a nail gun, basically just nail them in place.
two sections of the uh, plates are just put together so we've got a nice six mil gap in between uh, with three sides that are closed and the gate itself was cut to fit snugly between the sliders at minimizing air leak in the system or air induction in the system Here are some of the plastic parts uh, which will be fitted into the uh, bases to make the joints between the unit, the vacuum unit, uh, and the rest of the machinery. Just starting to put the plastic bits together now to get an idea of actually what uh, what's going on. Most of this is done by uh, what musicians call busking. A bit of suck it and see and hope for the best. Plastic pipes that go into the bases are quite tight fitting, I've made sure of that. So uh, I've just used hot glue to secure them onto the units. They're not going to get moved or pushed around too much because that'll all be secured uh, and attached to the workshop wall.
this is the main junction chamber now uh, as you can see it has an outlet on the bottom right there which is for the uh, crosscut saw the elbow that uh, goes into flat four inch pipe which goes off to the lathe um, at the other side of the circular saw there is another uh, similar unit which directs it directly to this circular saw or continues its path through to the lathe the top section there is a um, section which will eventually go to the planer and to the bandsaw on the opposite side of the workshop and here we've got uh, a quick roaming shot of the whole system in place from the lathe the circular saw to the crosscut 